Hi everyone, um, I'm going to have a quick look at the Wi-Fi backpack for the GoPro Hero 2. Uh, it came in the post today. Um, this essentially allows you to control your uh, GoPro Hero 2 um, with a remote control or more interestingly still, um, your iPhone or Android smartphone. Now, um, there's not much that you get in with the box. Um, there's going to be obviously the Wi-Fi back itself uh, and you'll get um, a waterproof back door and obviously a non-waterproof back door and uh, a USB cable. Uh, it charges obviously independently. Um, so let's get in and have a look. There we go. Oops. Alright, so okay, so there we have it. Is okay, so that's not much to it, it's quite light. Um, little screen just there USB power and the clip in there right. in the box okay so there we go one warning before using your Wi-Fi product a product update is required for the Wi-Fi backpack Wi-Fi remote and the GoPro cameras. Okay, there we go. Back doors, manual, cable. Okay, there's so not much in there, so you just got your extended back door because obviously it sticks out a bit further. And so there's the one back door. It's the uh, Waterproof back door, or manual. Another, another hinge for it. Okay. All right. Um, obviously, what you've got to do first is connect your GoPros, um, your Wi-Fi backpack. Um, to your laptop and perform uh, an update. Uh, once that's done, you should be good to go. Um, okay, so Hero 2. Yeah, fits on nice and easy. There's a hinge just there that clips in and locks into place, and there we go. So I've already um, updated this, so but you have to um, connect them independently. So don't lock them together um, first with it un unconnected. So make sure it's separated. Um, connect that on its own uh, to your laptop or PC. Update it. Do the same with the your uh, your GoPro. Um, once you've done that, there's a few instructions which you've got to do for this. To finish off the um, the update, uh, once all that's done, you are good to go. So, okay, so switch that on there. Okay, don't know if you can see that, but there we go. So you've got a battery level and a little symbol say the Wi-Fi is on. Okay. 
Right, so the quick look. Now I've already got the software on my iPhone. What you should see now is, I'm going to bring that over there, I can see that too well. It's just there, it says GoPro. Okay, and then what you need to do is just select that. Now the default password is GoPro Hero. You can change that and it's recommended that you do change that. Pro. And join them. Okay, there we go, that's now connected. Let's just uh, go pro is off. So, with the software, I'll start up the screen, connect and control. Okay, that's with the camera off now. I should be able to turn that on from there. There you go, you see those red flags, and there we go. Now in the screen there, it's starting the preview. I'm not sure quite how long this takes to, oh, there we go. Right, so there's live preview. Um, now I'm just having a quick look at that. There is a little bit of lag, or well, like two or three seconds lag there between actually me moving as I'm moving my head now. There we go. So there appears to be a little bit of lag, but what do you expect? It's running over Wi-Fi, so. Um, right. Okay, let's just uh, let's point this out the window, so <clears throat> it's a bit more interesting to see than me. Okay, right. There you go. That's now looking out into the back garden. There we go, that's now taken the, oops, full screen, so that's all. Um, tells us sort of how many videos there, it starts recording there. Um, go back. Uh, battery meter, um, the, the, the cogs there will take you into the settings, so preview on, uh, locate camera. Now that just makes the, the LED flash. Um, so, if you've got multiple cameras, I'm not sure if this supports it yet, but if you've got multiple cameras, I'm not sure which one you're controlling, you can actually press the locate button and basically the LED will flash on your GoPro to give you uh, an indication as to which one you're currently controlling. Um, they obviously your modes, video, camera, uh, burst, uh, time lapse, etc. Um, settings. So there we go, uh, name, um, the version, there's the Wi-Fi, resolution which you can go in and change, uh, field of view, so really all the settings you've got on the, uh, on the GoPro, you can control the GoPro, you can actually then con now control from, from your iPhone. Um, and there's a new, new feature which I'd, I had a quick look at, but didn't pay too much attention is this uh, ProTune uh, which I suppose allows you to do some some extra things um, and you can delete set date time and extra battery level um, and there we go so that's just a quick look at the Wi-Fi backpack with the uh, GoPro app um, just to give you a quick demonstration of the sort of time lapse on, on involved on this, so um, <clears throat> let's bring the camera back over here. All right, so there's the camera now. So you can sort of see if I move the camera to look back out the window. Okay. Right, I'm going to move that back again, so it's so you can just sort of just see it just there. You say there's there's just a, seem to be just a, a you know a, a few second delay. Uh, I mean it's it's not it's not bad. Maybe they'll improve that over time, but uh, we'll see. So there we go. Um, GoPro Wi-Fi backpack and the uh, and the app. Thanks for watching.